Hey, what's up guys? Billy Savecco here. We are with the one and only Pierce Brosnan. Sean Connor. Sean Brosnan here, the coach of the Newberry Park Cross Country Track and Field Program. I've been here the last like four or five days so, and you know, it's been really cool to like see behind the scenes of the stuff and get to know you and all the team better. But one thing I thought was cool was you, the last three or four days, you've been, guys, we're gonna have a meeting, but I want you to have your own meetings first about the goals. And don't just tell me you wanna run a 410. Don't just tell me you wanna be a podium on a, at NXN. Don't tell me this. Tell me the steps you're gonna take to get to this. Right. So I'm turning that question, I'm playing Coach Sean, and I'm gonna turn the question on you. What are your goals for this season, and what are the steps you need to take to make sure you get them? Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, it, it's pretty high goals. I mean, I want, I want uh, the girls and guys to both win a state title. Um, you know, uh, we don't know for Division One, Division Two. It goes by enrollment, and that okay. changes. So we're, we we find out. Regardless, we want uh, California state titles, um, I, and you know, I want the the guys on the on the podium winning. I want the the NXN title for them, and I think the girls. Um, it, it may sound like a dark horse to people, but I think they can be on the podium. That's awesome. Um, and, and especially some of the newer girls I have, we have some quality people, and they're doing some good work here. So that's th that's the goal. Now, in order to do that, you know, again, just like I tell the kids, you know, the guys are going to have to hold themselves accountable. I mean, they need to be there every morning. They need to get their rest. That's what I, you know. I need to make sure they do that. that and, and we talk about it all the time. Their iron has to be the right level. Um, they have to be willing to put the work in. They have to be willing to hurt. Um, and you know, just put in the work, and, and they have to sacrifice. They're going to have to give up some uh, social life things. They're going to have to give up some other things, and you know, in life. But I think that ultimately, that's what they're going to have to do. And it's my job as our coach to hold those girls, hold those guys accountable, so they can meet those goals. And you know, there's no guarantees. Yeah. You know, anything could happen. Injuries can happen. Yep. Sicknesses and different things. But you know, at the end of the day, if we put all of our cards out there and we say, hey, we're 100 percent. You know, most people don't know what 100 percent is. They say, I want to give you 100 percent. Then I say, you're going to be there four in the morning tomorrow. I would never ask a kid to yeah. do that. But that's 100 percent. There's no you don't question anything. So speaking of that, so those goals are really high. Those are I mean, literally the highest yeah. you want. Um, do you like having a target on your back yeah. or do you like kind of when you were like in 2017 and 2018 when you were chasing to get to that target no I, I like the target on our back I mean I, I think most of our guys do too I'm not too sure about the girls I have to figure that out this year and maybe it will be a little bit more after our first few races depending yeah. on how they go um, but I like the target on the back it's like it is a badge of honor I've heard coaches say that and you know it, I, I think it it's you could set the precedent high people know who you are and you come in and it, it's like in life you're going to have to succeed when the pressure's on and that's yeah. when the pressure's on mm -hmm. i mean if we can go get another title go get a couple other titles or whatever it may be that's that when you're at the top that's almost just as hard as when you're you know getting your first one so i i, I think it's good i mean you got to keep you got to get motivated somehow and yeah. i like the target i really yeah. do what do you tell your kids that you know nxn uh, Nike campus, that, 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 that course is different. Yeah. Often very rainy, wet. Sometimes the girls run after the, or the guys run after the girls when the course has been run on and it's all yeah. mixed. What do you tell them since you don't have that much of an environment like that here where you run? Yeah, I mean, we do a few things. I know coaches try some different avenues to, uh, to go down to try to match that, that environment. I mean, we actually have a park by our school which is kind of crazy. It's got real thick grass and they water the crap out of it. So we run on that and it gets pretty muddy. It's kind of funny, but it's literally close to NXN, but we'll do that. And it's a great park to do like thousands of mile repeats and okay. whatever, maybe even 400s. But um, so we do simulations like that. But at the end of the day, I grew up in New York. I grew up in yep. Long Island. I ran a Ben Cortlet, ran a Sunka Meadow, all these great courses. I never ran in conditions that I saw in 2019. Yeah. I mean, I think one year in college in Kenosha at NCAs, I think it was muddy and I fell a couple times. It was kind of like that, but it's usually not the case. So I always tell the guys and girls, I'm like, listen, don't believe the New York teams. Don't believe the Oregon teams. They yeah. don't run in this. Yeah, this yeah, is no not, one no one runs in this. And, and I just, I feel like if you, if you harp on it too much, you worry about it. It's like, you can only control what you can control. Yeah. And we're ready to run. We're not gonna do all these weird, we're not, like, I mean, some people are running with the spikes the day before to get used to them. No, you put them on the day, we're gonna let it happen. Everyone, don't change anything. No. And just we, mentally. We, we're ready. Yeah. We could put us on pavement, put us on hard dirt, put us on grass and mud, we'll run in it, you know? Yeah. Wasn't one of your goals or what, what, are your, what do you guys think you could have done in that 5k team average thing yeah was that three mile that yeah was... we're, we're trying to figure that out now because like i think the course changed at desert twilight we heard officially so the plan was originally to go to desert twilight and then i think the uh, a 5k overall high school average record in a, in a 5k race as a team um the score the, the top five is 15 flat okay you know 15 point something whatever um 
I believe we can run 1430 on a fast course, like on a Woodbridge. On a 5K. Um, so if we don't, on a 5K. So if we don't do the 5K, we would go to Woodbridge. And I'll put it out there. I think we're going to, I think we could average um, under 14 minutes. Our top five. We should have four or five guys. Should have four under 15, 14 minutes on a good night. Wow. And I mean, just the way they're running now and what I see and what I know. And I've always been pretty good about not like over, like, you yeah. know, when I said Nico could break, you know, 1340, he ran 1339. It was, it was yeah. always really good. I, I try not to overdo it because I don't want him setting up a disappointment. So I think that's. For time-wise, I think we can do that. That's incredible. Um, you know, we have the course record at Woodward Park. I think it's 15.04. We should definitely average on the 15 minutes there, too. Awesome. Um, and Woodward Park is a good combination of hills and flat, and it's not, it's not a fast course, but it's not, it's not slow either, but we should be able to do that there. Uh, anything you want to say about the, the Toad Tour, the Toad Life while we're here? Thanks so much for having us. We no, appreciate yeah, it's it. It's been great. We've been, I've been watching you guys back when you went to the Olympic trials, um, <laughs> eating your uh, homemade food on the cornfield. I don't know where you guys were, doing crazy <laughs> stuff. But, yeah, I, I always watch it. We're glad to have you. And the, the guys were psyched. I'm, I'm still waiting for my Toad sticker, but we'll, we'll get one of those. But otherwise, yeah, it's been awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, we'll go. Thanks for wearing those Toad singlets for the Music City Distance oh, yeah, Carnival. I loved it. We'll have to get in one of these guys right here, a little sticker. Nice. All right. Thank you so much, Coach. Yeah. Appreciate it. Good luck yeah. this year.